Hey everybody, this is part two of our video series on capturing faceware head motion and applying it to our MetaHumans in Unreal Engine. In the previous video, we already recorded our animation and here it is playing back and we can see some head motion there. And so in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we apply this to our MetaHuman in a scene using Sequencer to play back not only the face motion, but also the head motion. So let's go ahead and close this. We know we've got the animation working and I went ahead and renamed it demo anim just so it'll be easy to find when I do searches. Uh, the rename is just to tap the F2 key with that selected and then you can type in a, a new name as you see fit and then uh, that's all ready to use. So here's my metahuman in the scene and he is configured uh, by default. His body animation is, uh, well it keeps switching to custom mode but uh, it should be animation asset you know and that's fine that we're not even going to need to control the body itself really uh, and on face the uh, blueprint has been restored from instead of using the face wear blueprint it's back to the default face anim BP this blueprint allows for uh, the sequencer and such to drive the face rather than face wear since we've already got our recording. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this animation using Sequencer. So I'll just right click in my empty space here and animation and level sequence. There's my new level sequence. I'll call that demo underscore SEQ and control S to save it and double click. All right, so now we're gonna add our actor here to the sequence. So I'll click on the actor plus track, actor to sequencer and there's the actor's name and now that's added. Now by default we're seeing the control rig. So we've got a body control rig, we've got a face control rig. We're not gonna need either of those to play back our animation. So I'm just gonna right click and delete that and right click on this one as well and delete that. So with that uh, out of the way, we can now add the face animation. It's right here. So with the face track here, we'll just click on plus track, go to animation and choose our demo anim and there we go. Now we're going to have a little bit of a problem here because when we play this we're going to get nice face animation but no head motion at all. And so we just need to make a minor modification to the blueprint actor so that it will use the face animation to drive the head instead of the body. Traditionally body, if I go ahead and add for example a uh, control rig track here, and I'll asset based control rig, meta human control rig. Now we've got the control rig. You can see there's controls here for the body uh, to ops operate the head. So even though the face is being driven by the um, animation, the uh, control rig is driving the head motion. So we want to kind of override that behavior so that the face animation we captured will drive the head motion instead. So I'll right click and delete this again. And now we have our metahuman and the face is working. So let's just change where the transition happens in the skeletal system so that instead of face animation only driving the face, we're gonna lower that transition down into the neck so that this face animation can actually drive the rotations of the neck in our metahuman. So that uh, blend mode is actually uh, defined in the face component of our metahuman. So if I click on our metahuman here and I look at the components under face, and uh, the, this blueprint right here, face NMBP, this is where that transition is being uh, selected. So I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass so we can find that asset in our content browser. So clicked on our metahuman, clicked on face, went to animation, anim class, and then click this magnifying glass. And that brings us to that asset here in our content browser. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this and make a new version. So control W gives me a new version and I'll just call this uh, an MVP with demo in it. I'll just delete the one and add demo at the beginning. There we go. And enter and that saves that. So face demo and MVP. Control S to save it and double click. So now I've got a copy in that way and any changes I make here don't do any uh, you know, damage to the previous version. And we open up by default to the event graph. What we actually want to look at is the animation graph. So that's uh, right down here on the left hand side, animation graph. And we'll just double click that to open it up. And so what's happening here is all of these nodes are retrieving animation, live link, all sorts of information about how the face is being animated. And right here, we're actually receiving information about the body. And 
this node right here, this one node, let's uh, zoom in on that. This is blending the animations between those two um, sources. So uh, if I click on this, what's happening here is the body animation is coming in first, then the face animation is coming in. And this node is blending the two, and it's basically set up in such a way that the blend happens at these face controls. So if I go ahead and I look at the skeleton structure here, you see that there is a neck one, under, you know, lowercase neck underscore one, lowercase neck underscore two, and then head, and then is all these facial controls. So the actual motion of the head is being driven by neck one and neck two. So what we want to do is move our transition so that the blend between the two uh, animation sources, pose sources, happens lower on the skeletal system, and it happens here at neck one, neck two instead. And that way, when the face animation is applied, it'll be driving the neck animation and head animation. So back to our blueprint. And we'll just copy and paste this to keep the original. Control C, Control V is in Victor. And of course, I'm just going to click this little comment bubble and just type in the word original here so I remember that. And we won't need that. We'll just leave that disconnected. We'll just click on this one. And so we're going to change these values to be that neck one and neck two. So double click here, N E C K underscore O one. Notice all lower cases. This is case sensitive. Double click, N E C K underscore zero two. And this last one we're not going to actually need, so let's just click this down arrow and delete. So there we go. Now we are all reconfigured. We can hit compile. All is good. Hit save. All is good. Let's close this up. Now we need to place that blueprint here in our MetaHuman so that it's used. Right now we're still using the default one. So I'll just click on here, go into search, type in demo, since that's what I named my new blueprint and there it is select it and now our metahuman is configured so that the head motion will be driven by any face animation that we have going back to the beginning hit play and sure enough we've got head motion and that's it hope this helps until next time have fun